her. I'm, I'm, I, and I am a little bit biased because I am close to the development team on it. They've reached out to me. They've, they've, uh, um, they've been very generous to me as far as like, uh, giving me information. They've come by the channel and hung out with us on Sundays. Um, and, and, and they've been very good about stuff. I mean, one Sunday when they were here, it was right after they did an update. We found like two or three uh, uh, um, bugs, and they fixed them on the fly. We reloaded the game, and boom, it was ready to go. All right, we're going to load in a, a survivor that we already have going. Looks like the last time I played it was on the 26th. So basically, the idea behind this game is you start with nothing, floating by an island. It's set in the 1800s. Uh, and so there's no technologies. Chernobylite's full release. I am going to be playing it. Yes. Yep. I actually had somebody message me or somebody asked me that on one of the streams. And I was like, uh, yeah, Chernobylite full release. I'm going to be doing it. Oh yeah. This is our little island we have here. Oh, we already have stuff set up. We are, we are like, we are like good to go. Oh, we are, we are good to go boys and girls. We got, we got things and stuff. We got salt to put on things. All right, we're going to salt up a little meat. Salt up another couple fishies. Salt up another meat or two. Okay, that's all the salt I have. Okay, so in your inventory, this is your general inventory screen. And I know it's very basic looking. I've had a lot of people say that. It's still in development. I'm sure they're going to do stuff. I personally like it because I, I am a spreadsheet kind of guy. Uh, you have your general health. Your hunger and your thirst, if your hunger and thirst get too high, you can actually work on getting your drying, drying skill and starving skill uh, increased if you if you starve yourself or make yourself too thirsty. Uh, you have your tiredness, which if it gets to 100, you will pass out if it's nighttime and go to sleep for a little while. If it's daytime, you probably won't. Um, your stamina which is sort of directly related to your tiredness. The more tired you are, the less stamina you have. Your stamina is used when you run, craft, uh, swim, do any of those things. Uh, you have your body temp, so it's very warm, 37 degrees centigrade, very warm, because we're in the Pacific. Uh, you have your food diversity. Your food diversity is a, is a combination of land, sea, and fruit. The more land food you eat, uh, you'll, you'll be able to up your uh, diversity and seafood. Right now we're at 50% because we've been eating a lot of fruit because you have a vitamin C and salt component to your... Thank you for the bits there, Andrea. I appreciate that. Andrex 212 chips. Oh, thank you. You have... Thank you so much. I appreciate I appreciate the bitty boos. Uh, you also have your vitamin C and salt factors, which are important to watch as well. All these things can make you take damage to your overall health. Uh, if you get too hot, you can take damage. You can uh, take damage if your food diversity is off too much. You can take damage if your vitamin C or salt goes too low, or if your hunger and thirst goes too high. Um, so all those things play a factor. Now we do have a map, so we can map, we can see where our islands are. Uh, we got an island over there. Oh, are we on, are we on main island? Oh, we're on our main island. Okay, so we have uh, Isle K over there. And then you have your cluster of islands, your cluster that you start in. The initial island cluster that you start in You'll find clues on that initial island cluster that will lead you to another cluster and another cluster beyond that. Um, I think, is this my note? Is that my note that I have? Um, our shipwreck near, uh, oh, that's telling me where the sextant and watch are. So we don't, we don't have our note yet telling us where our next cluster will be. So that, that, in that instance, we don't have that information. Um, what's that? That's just a sealed jar. Oh, this is my, that's a small crate that I have everything in. Oh, I got lots of bananas in there. Okay. Lots of, oh God, I got lots of papayas too. And I got lots of coconuts, it looks like, and water. So are those waters? Those are bottles of water too. Okay, so we got lots of water. Do I have a barrel? Oh, I do have a barrel. Oh, I got a good barrel. I have a barrel with lots of water in it. Okay. Now your water and food do go down in condition. Um, so water and food, you have to keep an eye on. You see how this water here says it's at 19 and then it has that little eye, eyeball and then it has a little green line by it. 
that water is slowly deteriorating down. Right now, it's not going to hurt us. But once it gets into yellow and then red, it will actually take health away from you if you eat it. Oh, there's salt water in there. I guess I can just take that off of there. Put it down here. But um, basically, the idea of the game, though, is to find the clues to get to the next cluster. Uh, you can you can build. There's a quite a large building um, menu of different uh, roofs and floors, shelters that you can build out of different materials, um, different uh, pillars you can build. There's a big crafting menu <clears throat> that has all the different tools you can make, the different equipment you can make, everything from backpacks to beds to fish traps to uh, plant boxes uh, to dew catchers to composters so you can actually farm, you can actually build boats. And you can build rafts as well as canoes. Canoes are good for inter-cluster travel. Rafts are what you build to go from cluster to cluster. And then you have food recipes as well that you can make up different food items as well. Um, is it beta? This is still alpha. This is still in early access. Nowhere even close to being in a beta access uh, type uh, fashion. Uh, nowhere, nowhere close at this point. Um... Oh, I guess I could put that sealed jar inside this other chest here. There we go. Um, now, on your island, you'll have different bushes and trees, banana trees as well. You got coconut trees that will drop coconuts on a daily basis. Uh, coconut water is a good way to maintain yourself water-wise. Uh, there are shipwrecks out in the ocean. Uh, we'll actually go visit one of those. I think I already visited this shipwreck, but we'll go take a look again. Um, um, I don't, do they have, uh, a, a, hey, uh, Mark Wars is our console expert. Do they have console support for this game, Mark Wars? I think I already, I think I already, yeah, I already searched the ship. Do we have a shark around here? Ah, oh, there's the shark. Now, the shark is not active as of yet. They're also going to be adding in dolphins. They have typhoons and hurricanes in their in their future. Uh, there's going to be other animals in the future as well, including uh, live sharks. This right now is a shark that... Uh, yeah, and there is pirate ships as well. Um, ooh, he's scary looking. There are pirate ships that will sail by. Uh, actual pirate ships, yes. Is there a way to escape the Pacific? Not yet, no. That that will be that will be further down the road in their development. <clears throat> actually, escaping the Pacific is something you cannot actually physically accomplish as of yet. Um, right now, it's all about exploration, surviving, and going from island to island, gathering resources, building houses. Um, and, and just kind of, uh, uh, having fun. It's just, it's just a very chill game. You can kill the turtles too. Um, uh, Mark Wars, is there console support for this game? Or are they gonna, I think, I think they have plans for console support. Um... Uh, there are no boss fights in this game. This game is far superior to Strand Deep in every way, shape, or form. <clears throat> I probably just ruffled feathers there, but I I absolutely despise Strand Deep. I've tried that that game. We we nicknamed it Trigger Deep because every time I play Strand Deep, I get absolutely triggered, absolutely triggered. There is one way to escape: you die. That is true. That is actually true. There is one way to escape the Pacific, and that is through death. But yeah, I was not I was not a big escape I was not a big strand of deep fan. I did I I I played um I played Stranded Deep uh in early access. Uh, I played it a bunch in early access, actually. Uh, I was never a fan of the reticle UI that they were made, that they made. They tried to they basically tried to they tried to reimagine the UI for a game. And all they did was basically just frustrate the heck out of me. Because I was like, dude, you don't need to do this. 
You don't you don't need you don't need to make it something brand new just for the sake of making it brand new. You don't you don't need to do that. There's things out there that work already and you don't need to make uh, something completely different. It's unnecessary. But they did and uh you know, it's one of those things where I just kind of gave up on the game. And then and then honestly, they gave up on the game. After a while, it just seemed that they kind of gave up on continuing to... I just flipped one over and then I flipped the other one over. It seemed that they kind of gave up on the idea of continuing their game uh, beyond where it was. And then the, then they did, they did eventually finish it. They did eventually finish it, but it just seemed very rushed at that point. You know what I'm saying? It just seems very it just seemed very rushed and they just put in a lot of things like boss fights and 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 that sort of stuff just to kind of fill in things that they didn't do. It was just kind of like oh, really really fellers we got that wooden bucket there. I want to build a little shelter here. I wonder if I can. Oh there's little look look at the little baby bananas. We gotta go explore another island though. Gonna chop all these big big ficuses and stuff. Make it brand new, but make sure it works. Yeah, I just I was just not a fan of it. I didn't like I mean, yes, this has a reticle on it. You can use the reticle here to make tools, equipment, boats and stuff. But your inventory is your inventory. And the the cool thing, um, the cool thing with yes, you can catch water in the shells and cups and stuff. Yep, you can. The cool thing about your backpack is all containers in this game have two factors. You have a weight factor and a volume factor. Every item in the game that you pick up will have two factors on it as well. It will have a weight factor and a volume factor. So you can fill up a container or your backpack or whatever your uh, stuff is, but you can only fill it up to a certain point before it exceeds either the weight factor or the volume factor. And I like that. I think that's a cool way to go because there is some stuff that's really heavy but doesn't have much volume to it. And there's stuff that is very, has a lot of volume. I was trying to think of the word for it, voluminous. Is it voluminous? That has a lot of volume but doesn't have much weight. Um, like these sticks. You can't put sticks in your backpack that have too, they have, they're too big. You used to be you could put them in your backpack, but not anymore. You used to be able to put a stick. You used to the ladies used to be able to come up and say, "Hey, are you just happy to see me, or is that a stick in your backpack?" But they can't say that anymore because I can't, I can't put long sticks in my backpack. So, I hate the bush. I hate the bush. The bush bothers me beyond all reasoning. Uh, actually, with these turtle shells, you can actually craft. You can actually craft a um, a water collector, and it takes turtle shell. And this is basic building: turtle shell and three small sticks. Uh, I think I I think I have sticks. Now it will only end. The, then you have to hit it with your hammer for a while. Now, it will only collect water when it rains. <clears throat> so you don't want to put it under a shelter or something. And then see, you can just put it out here and go, hey, there we go. Now, dew catchers are actually, in my opinion, dew catchers are better for water collection than anything else in the game at this point. Um, because they will passively collect you water over a certain amount of time. Um, we need a larger tree. Gosh dang it, Bush. I need a larger tree. I don't want to take that one. Let's take this one. That's a thousand. That's a thousand. That's a thousand. So all of these are about a thousand. I may, I may or may not get big logs out of these. I need a big log. Ladies. Oh, look, we got two thick branches. Fabulous. And more stuff. Fabulous. Sometimes I can get a tree trunk out of one of these, but not, not, I, I don't know if it's going to happen now or not. Nope, that's just more thick branches. <sighs> I'm 
more thick branches. Okay. Uh, oh, geez, Louise, there's one right there. Okie dokie, boys and girls. Someone's not very smart. All right, I want to build a little house up here. Um, we're just going to build a simple house. Uh, let's build pillars. Nope, not with that. Build pillars with the uh, tree trunks. We'll build it nice and high like that. There we go. There we are. There's our basic frame. And then what we have to do is we have to build. Build that on top there. Grab a long stick here. There we go. Get our hammer out again. Now, we are playing on the easiest difficulty level. Uh, really, the only difference between difficulty levels <clears throat> is that supposedly, I've not really noticed it, but supposedly you get thirsty and hungry a lot faster. And on the, on the harder difficulty levels, the other main thing that you'll notice is that it takes a lot more um, resources to build the exact same items it takes on the lower difficulty levels. And that's really the main difference. That's really the main difference. Uh, so just, just so we could build things so you can sort of see what we can build with stuff, I figured I'd play on the easiest difficulty level just so we can do more exploring, we can build some cool structures, and we don't have to like be scrounging for as many supplies. The, the supply issue is mainly the biggest problem with the harder difficulty levels. It just takes you a longer time to get together. Like this roof that I just built would probably have taken double the number of palm leaves on a higher difficulty level than it did right here. And sticks. It's like everything, everything gets exponentially uh, harder to build on the, on the harder difficulty levels. So we're just going to put our bed under here just because it gives us a little shelter. That way if it gets too hot out during the day, we can come stand under here and it won't be too bad. And then you also always want to have your water under some sort of shade. Be that be underneath a, uh, a bed. A bed is a good place to put it. Hey, how's it going? Says uh, uh, Gina Bins. Bin, bin. I'm so sorry. Says Gina. Says Gina. I'm just going to say says Gina. How you doing? How is it going? Hey now. So we haven't checked our food and stuff in a while. Okay, let's let's uh oh. I wanted to drink that. That would be R to drink. Now see, we lost a point of health. That water is now that water is now down to a point. Says Jin. Says Jin. Okay, says Jin. There we go. <laughs> see all I see is says Gina says Jen there we go okay says Jen uh, I, I yeah I'm horrible with screen names I'm sorry about that um okay so we got our stuff pretty well set up here we got that out here uh we got some food drying we got our water thing there uh oh we got a bronze gobble with some salt in it uh let's go salt some more meat here there we go um so I got my water bucket here. I think I'm going to take the water bucket. I should have a fish trap down here too somewhere. Get my water bucket filled up with salt water. This is a good way to get There's two ways to get salt. You can either A, um, just put water in goblets and tankards and coconut shells and let it evaporate. Or you can, you know, you can actually boil it off on a fire if you want to. Uh, it's it, Both are good ways to get salt. There doesn't seem to be a bad uh, way. Oh, I played Raft. Yeah, Raft, Raft, Raft is fun, except it's multiplayer. Raft, Raft is a very frustrating game to play solo. It just moves at a snail's pace solo. I'm 46 years old. Well, I'm 51, so, you know, there we go. I'm 51, so I got a few. I got a couple years on you. Got just a couple. Not saying anything about that, but I got I got a couple years on you there, my friend. I'm gonna pick up that dry grass. That's good for starting fires. But yeah, you can get salt. Salt is there's no nothing wrong 
with over consuming salt in the game it's, i guess what i'm saying <clears throat> over consuming salt will never hurt you i'm gonna take this fish and i'm gonna eat it and let's go find our fish trap over here where's our fish trap i know i put a fish trap out over here somewhere that was the body there's my fish trap right by the body get another we'll get a fish to put back on it what well, fish fish traps are the only way to get um to get fish and to keep that seafood diet up see we're slowly getting our we're slowly getting our diversity back a little bit diversity is a good thing in this game you want your diversity to be good let's chop down a few more trees Oh, Andrea with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. And it's also good to get firewood. Uh, the cool thing about sticks in this game is every stick, except for fire sticks, all sticks break down into smaller sticks. Uh, long sticks will break down into uh, small sticks. Well, I guess it goes... The, the thick trunks break down into thick branches. Thick branches break down into long sticks. Long sticks break down into small sticks. Small sticks break down into fire sticks. So there is a hierarchy to the sticks. I gotta go by, go now, by good luck. All right, Andrea, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for the new follow, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it so very much. Uh, I, I really truly do. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. So we're gonna gather. We're gonna gather some fuel here. Um, though the 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 dry grass is really good for fire starter. Um, I don't know if this fire actually has. You always have to have tinder in the fire before you can start it. So it's always good to just leave a fire with some tinder in it. That way you can start it no problem. These sticks are bothering me. There we go. These leaves are really bothering me, but that's okay. I'll get over it. I think I can only carry three branches at a time. Yep. Only three at a time. I think I'm, I think I'm going to leave the branches up here, though. Oh, look at all them nanners. Nanners falling from heaven, boys and girls. It's falling from heaven. Sometimes you'll just find random bananas underneath a tree. <clears throat> they did fix it so all the all the fruit grows at, at the same time now. Uh, it used to be that this game was very segmented. When you left an island, all time on that island stopped. And um, it didn't start until you came back. So all these items that I'm drying, they would stop drying once I left this island. And they wouldn't start until I came back fruit wouldn't grow after you left the island either uh so it's kind of nice that they fix that so that stuff actually grows and matures while you're away um which is kind of cool um i've played detroit become human many times Detroit become human is amazing Detroit become human is to, Detroit become human is, is a master is a masterpiece of a game I just played it recently actually. I got I got I got a wild I had a wild urge to play Detroit Become Human again, so I played it again. It is it is a beautiful game. Um I, I, I do like some story games. Um I have played some in the past. I've played Siberia, I've played uh Detroit Become Human, I played Beyond Two Souls, uh, which was pretty fun. Um much more linear than Detroit Become Human. Much more predictable outcomes than Detroit Become Human. Detroit Become Human, I think the thing I like most about it is that there is a very real sense the game could end at any time. There are there are there are places in the game where the game can end, especially when one of the voice act. Yes, especially when uh, Brian Deckard and his wife Amelia raided my stream one night while I was playing Detroit Become Human. They raided me with like 600 people. It was insane. 
it was insane. And it was quite an honor and privilege to be raided by them because I, I really think highly of them. Um, so, yeah, it was really cool. Oh, God, my nose is itching like crazy. Oh, by the way, uh, I had a viewer, Krontar, asking about the 3XL t-shirts and how long they are because he's a very tall person. Um, the uh, The people got back to me with a rather kind of... They didn't really get back to me with a good answer. They got back to me with an answer that basically talked about the, like, the, um, the chest width on it, which I, I was like, I don't need to know the chest width. I, when, I needed to know how long from shoulder to waist the shirt is. Um, and, uh, I haven't heard back from, I, I didn't, I didn't hear back from them. <clears throat> Stutter Fox Studios. Oh, Stutter Fox Studios is so amazing. I haven't heard back from them on it yet, so just letting you know. Uh, Dark Pictures Anthology. I have not played that. No. Gathering up all my tree trunks, all my wood, all my various things and stuff. I like to centralize all my things and my stuffs. I played, um, I, there's a bunch, there's a bunch of different story games I've played. Um, some of them, some of them have been really fun. There was a good, there was one where a ghost, I was playing as a ghost. Um, I forget what that one was called though. Um, I keep thinking ghost in the shell and it's not that, that's an anime. Um, but I have, I have played some story games in the past, so. Dark Pictures Anthology, I'll have to go, I'll have to check it out. Hey, Long Duck, how you doing? Hello, hello. We are having quiet time with Athenon. It's quiet time, boys and girls. In a very quiet game. A very chillax game tonight. I'm doing good. We got we got this on tap, and then we're going to play a little Void Train later on this evening as well. I'm going to order up a pizza here pretty soon. It's Pizza Saturday. I've been feeling it. I felt it yesterday, and I didn't do it. I didn't do it yesterday. So it's definitely feeling like Pizza Saturday. Definitely feeling like a Pizza Saturday to me. I don't know. That's just where I'm coming from. Oh, I missed a banana. I'm going to eat it just because I want to. <clears throat> I saw your Instagram 